Hello everybody. Uh, this is going to be a manual for dummies about uh, Yeti uh, with basic information about uh, industry set and with a few uh, tips. Why I'm doing it? Because I, a couple of days ago I found on internet on YouTube uh, someone posted a video with the title Open TTD I hate Yeti. So I did look inside uh, that video and uh, what I realized is that uh, the person who posted that video uh, didn't know how to play uh, was completely lost over the seems to be like it was maybe first day of playing and uh, was really lost and uh, and then I was looking for the Yeti and there's really not many videos so I'm going to show you uh, the basics about uh, to tell you something about the industries how it works and give you a couple tips and it's going to be my last manual and last video about open ttd why uh, because uh, the i don't have many viewers i don't have many likes i don't have many comments uh, so uh, it's a waste time uh, because every video takes um, almost a whole day to, to, to make it. You need to record it, you need to edit it, then render it, compress it, upload it and uh, prepare on YouTube the, the publishing. So it takes a lot of time and uh, uh, the result is just so so weak so I'm actually I'm giving up I'm not giving up the game because I love it but that will be the last manual and uh, I think the last video about open TTD so uh, let's start about about uh, Yeti what is Yeti? Yeti is uh, like uh, like freeze industry or uh, ECS industry replacement for uh, uh, the original originals original uh, industries in uh, the game. So it changes uh, the way you play the game. It changes the rules. Uh, it adds uh, new industries. Actually, it replaces industries that are completely unique. Features beautifully rendered. Uh, supposed to be 32 bits based graphics. Uh, features a few industries that are fully animated, like in my video at the beginning. Works best with the nuts and realistic train set 072 or newer. Alright, so to get Yeti on your uh, in your game, you need to have this extended towns and industries and the nuts and realistic trains. How to get them? Uh, press check online content. Then in the filter box, uh, write Yeti, and you should get this Yeti extended down and industries. Check it, and you sh you're supposed to have download button available to download. After you download this one, go for nuts, and you have over here uh, different sets. So uh, this one is my. The one I use, the 7.8, and this is the newer one, 7.9. What's the difference? So the newer one uh, has 32 bits removed. So if you play the normal way uh, without 32 bits, that would be the best solution, uh, the, the the best uh, the best for you. If you play like me, 32 bits trains. So you need to have this one because this one has 32 bits inside 32 bits uh, trains inside so yeah so after you download them you have to find them in your filter mm. uh, I, I've got already over here so I'm uh, and so when you find them oh, now I can add them again yes so that's the way uh, I'm just, just going to do this so now I'm going to explain you uh, how those industry works and what you're supposed to do with them. So we have over here all industries uh, from Yeti and I grouped it into three groups uh, with the colors and into three lines uh, which is very important uh, to understand what's going on here and that's what we have a workers yard and uh, exchange merchant uh, so 
the green. The green, that's that's the fourth over here. That's the construction materials to build uh, um, to build uh, uh, building materials. So we need stone, clay and wood. So that's the stone quarry which will give us stone, clay, clay pit and the wood from 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 uh, forest. All right. Uh, now this the blue one that's the food chain. So this is a uh, uh, food plant which produces food, and uh, we need those uh, food industries. Uh, this is um, the pig cows, fruit and vegetables, and. Uh, this the grain <coughs> now over here we have a uh, three lanes iron horn which goes to steel mill and from there we sending uh, the steel to our machine factory which is producing producing machinery and I will explain it in a moment. This is oil well. It goes to a refinery. And from here, of course, to the machinery factory. A uranium mine, which goes to the power plant. It produces battery and it goes to, again, machinery factory. All right. So this is... This is the, done this way. So, uh, to get it work, you need to first provide, deliver Yeti dudes to those industry in the first line. That's why they in first line. To get the UT diet, uh, UT, uh, Yeti dudes, you need to deliver passengers from, from the town or the towns to the workers' yard. Right? Now the duties, like I said, Yeti dudes, they go to the first line of industries. So stone quarry, clay pit, uh, forest, uh, animal farm, uh, plantation, grain farm, iron ore mine, oil well, and uranium mine. So that's that's the way. Then. Uh, it's a good to start with the food chain because you need the food to boost your uh, worker yard production. So whatever you do, uh, try to use first the the to get food first. So now the production from all those three industries is supposed to go to the food plant, and the food from food plant goes back to workers yard okay, over here. now uh, building materials building materials the three uh, industries uh, provide supplies for the construction yard and from construction yard the building materials go to again to workers yard however however <coughs> If you don't have a foot, the building's material will be not consumed and they will be accumulated over there waiting for the foot. <coughs> so uh, it's more important to have a foot than building materials because if you have a foot, uh, there is a boost of uh, production of Yeti dudes. If you have only building materials, the building materials are not used and there is no boost, boost at all. Now, if you have uh, more building materials that you can use over here just send them to exchange merchant it will uh, produce for every three tons of uh, it will produce three tons of food for every four tons of building materials and then you can send them and boost your production of uh, uh, workers yard a bit complicated at the beginning but uh, it's not as as it looks now we have the supplies uh, for the machinery 
So as I said before, the ore, uh, iron ore goes to the steel mill, uh, oil well to refinery, uh, uranium to, to, uh, to, to power plant, and from here battery to machinery, uh, the re refined products to, to machinery and uh, steel as well. And the machinery, the machinery goes back to the first line of those industries. So all production uh, industries, it will boost, it will boost your uh, production. So if you if you deliver only dudes, uh, there will be a uh, uranium mine will produce three tons of uranium for every three dudes. But then when you provide uh, machinery, it will boost this production. I don't remember now. I just just you will get much more uh, the, the, the the production. And of course, it will not product anything if you don't deliver the UTDs dudes. So that's the basics uh, basic chain of of uh, uh, how how the industry are working in. Uh, in this game it's the beginning it's maybe seems to be uh, uh, difficult but after a while you will understand how this is work I just repeat it quick so the first packs go to the workers yard then we are supposed to provide them to uh, the production uh, industries uh, I suggest you start with the food and then uh, the food supposed to go back to the workers yard to boost the production of UTDs dudes and then I think the best is start to making building materials uh, and uh, and then supply the machinery uh, factory with the products and then the machinery to the first line of and that's it so that's the basics about about this this uh, this set, and now I'm going to give you a couple advice uh, on another on, on another uh, map. Uh, so this is an example of the Yeti network. Um, uh, it's nothing um, special about this. Uh, just a couple advice. Um, so when you when you have your uh, map generated. Usually you have more uh, towns that I have, much more, and as well you have uh, more those industries around, uh, more uh, for X workers yard as well. Uh, so my advice is to choose such a one workers yard uh, at the beginning, which has um, as much as possible. Uh, um, flat and free space around and as well do not connect any close town closer than a hundred a hundred tiles away because you will not earn any money uh, for example this town is one 150 let's say uh, this one is about uh, 200 yards and uh, because I use very harsh settings for uh, for economy uh, so I have inflation on interest rate is very high I have uh, s uh, the subsidy so subsidy multiplier uh, very very low so I'm not getting much money out of that infrastructure I have on uh, running costs I have a very high construction is very high so uh, it will cost me a lot of money and I would not earn any money if I connect any close town. Now the second advice is just uh, to separate your stations. So the one, one station will be for uh, for supplies in. So for example I have with here the station that calls in and for Yeti dudes which I call out. So, and the station for supplies in is the seven uh, tails long station and for the yeti dudes only five tails long so they can uh, uh, load faster and go away faster the same applies for uh, for uh, machinery yard uh, supplies uh, seven tiles long 
and uh, for machinery uh, loading uh, only five and the stations are separate the station if you if you wonder how to build a such a station uh, let's check my playlist you will find over there uh, all in one station uh, a large a large all in one station something like that and you can watch that video and uh, I'm explaining how to build this station this is this station is very universal it serves every direction and as well can serve as uh, as uh, a, a turnaround point and as well bypass so uh, yeah that's the uh, what else um, yeah so the foot goes of course over here you have a foot and it goes to the workers yard uh, buildings materials goes from here and go from here to the yard and as well go to exchange, mer exchange merchant and the foot from here go to to uh, workers yard so uh, every station every station uh, with the passengers has a feeder as you can see over here we have a station and uh, the, uh, I I fit the station for, uh, with the passenger from the bus stations like over here I have a station and the bus pick up passengers from here and transfer the, the, the passengers here uh, you're supposed to know how to do it it's just a special order with the transfer which is over here so that's the transfer and I'm transferring passengers it speed up um, filling up the trains and I think that's it oh, over here something else is one more thing uh, every of those uh, lines uh, of those industries which requires dudes and machinery uh, a, uh, as I said before I used the two length uh, trains so for for example the uh, the train loads the oil over here on the seven platform but all uh, um, dudes and machinery actually goes here to this this five platforms but probably you will not be able to to do it in in your game uh, so uh, just make a separate station not like I have I have the one station but you're supposed to have just a separate station for machinery that would be for machinery and for uh, for UTD dudes to deliver them and for loading the seven platforms that's I think a better solution uh, why I have this one because I have a special program here I use this special program so I will not not cover it over here because I use I use the uh, Joker's patch park you are not able to do it in the normal version of the game so I will not cover it yeah so I think that that will be it there's nothing nothing else to say everything is the same everything is simple um, it's nothing nothing special uh, I hope I cover everything if you have a question please ask in the comment section uh, I really would appreciate any likes uh, subscribes <coughs> and as well comments and like I said before I think it's going to be the last video about OpenTTD because no many viewers no likes no comments uh, so it seems to be that this is uh, uh, the end for the OpenTTD at least for me uh, I'm, I'm going to play it but I'm not going to publish any more videos unless there will be some kind of uh, request but I don't think so there will be any <coughs> so if you have a question uh, leave a comment and uh, thank you for watching um, see you maybe next time or in another video about another games thank you for watching bye bye